Hello, my friends. How are you? Can you believe all this snow? If you are watching this video, it is because we've had so much snow that we had a snow day Monday and we have one um, for Tuesday. Now, I emailed this to your parents. If mom and dad were able to print it, fine. You could even print it in black and white. It doesn't have to be color. Great. If they were not able to print it, it is okay. It is okay. But I still would like you to watch the video and follow along and maybe put the answers in your head. And then when we get back to class on Wednesday, um, we'll do this paper together and then you'll kind of have an idea as to what the answers are. Okay? You are smart. God has given you a good brain. Kiss that brain. Good. All right, here we go, my friends. You've got this. This is all stuff. This is a special math paper, but this is all stuff that we've been doing all year. It's just like a review, like we're going over it. Now, since this is a special math paper, mom and dad can help a little bit, but I would like, I would prefer that you do it, and I would like you to do it by yourself. You are smart. You can do this. Okay, here we go. All right, my friends, what's the first thing we do? Good. The first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and I what? Write my name. Good. Here we go. All right. Finger on the duck. Look at the key picture. Count the beach balls. Which group has the same number or the same amount as the beach balls? Do the shovels have the same number? The pails or the shells? Which group has the same number or the same amount? Just as many as. Good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, don't get stressed or worked up. We're going to estimate. Remember, estimate means a good guess. You can do this. Put your finger on the heart. Look at the bag of marbles. I'm giving you a good hint about how many are in the bag of marbles. Are there about 10, about 20, or about 30? Good. Okay. Let's go down to the shamrock row. Put your finger on the shamrock. Let's look at the shelf. Let's look at the key picture. Which object is on the middle shelf. Is it the sailboat, the pail, or the life preserver? Which object is on the middle shelf? Good, okay. Let's move down to the butterfly row. Again, if you need to stop, if I'm going a little too fast, just pause the video and you can play it again or Mom and Dad, the directions are at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Finger on the butterfly. Look at the key picture box. Which plain figure or shape is outside of the rope or outside the oval? Outside. The square, the triangle, or the circle? Fill in the bubble under the shape that is outside. Good. Put your finger on the star. Blue fish, yellow fish. Blue fish, yellow fish. Blue fish, yellow fish. Blank. Fill in the bubble under the fish that would come next in the pattern. One more time. Blue, yellow. Blue, yellow. Blue, yellow. Okay. Fill in the bubble under the fish that would come next in the pattern. I know, easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Okay, now I'm gonna bring my camera up a little bit because I need you to look at the whole row, all these shapes. Listen very carefully. Circle the shapes that are the same color and the same shape. So two things, circle, I'll tell you that it's three. You should be circling three. Circle the three that are the same shape 
and the same color. There are three. Okay, good. Put your finger on the heart. How many lighthouses are there? Count the lighthouses and write the number. I know, easy peasy, right? You've got this. Okay, take your time if you have to. Finger on the shamrock. Look at the number line and the key picture box. 27, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 30. Which two numbers would complete the number line? Which two numbers would go in order? If you're not sure, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, thirty. Would it be twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty? 27, 26, 31, 30? Or would it be 27, 28, 29, 30? Which two numbers, which pair of numbers would complete the number line in counting order? Okay, let's move on down to the butterfly. Again, if you have to pause the video, just pause it, and then you can always hit play again. I'm gonna back it up so you can see all the objects in the row. A cooler, a beach pail, an ice cream cone, or a beach ball. Which three objects can slide? Remember, in order for something to slide, it has to have a what? Good, a flat surface. I just gave you a big hint. <laughs> so which three objects can slide? Not roll, slide. Okay, listen to the little story. Mouse in a star row. Mouse sees a piece of cheese. How many boxes? Does mouse have to go from point A to point B to get the cheese? Count the number of boxes. So, mm, 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 mm. Remember, you are stopping here. This is point B. Again, how many boxes? Does mouse have to go from point A to point E, B, excuse me, B, <laughs> to get the cheese? Count the boxes and then write the number. All right, you've got this, ladies and gentlemen. You are so smart. Kiss that brain. I'm so proud of you. Again, if you have to replay the video, it's okay. You could always stop it, rewind, or again, Mom and Dad can reread the directions for you at the bottom of the page. Kiss that brain. Good job, guys. All right, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.